Hello. Graybeard here. <laughs> yeah, my, my camera's been acting funny. I don't know what the deal is. But uh, yeah, here's our new ride. It's an X01 by Polarna. Beefy. Reason why I got it, looks like a, a cross between a mini bike or something, motorcycle and a bicycle. Dual shocks in the back. It's got a brake light works whether you pull the front or rear brake. Big old beefy front sprocket. Get you, you know, keep you, uh, help keep up with the motor. And uh, yeah, it could use another gear in the back, a smaller, you know, higher gear back sprocket. But uh, yeah, this is this is an awesome bike. Uh, my biggest trouble, the battery came, I'm assuming it was mounted on the bike, and then shipping fell off, scuffed this bar here, and in and, and turn scuffed itself up too, right, rolling around in the box. This is half the price of the bike. This should be secure and packed well. Other than that, Polarna did a really good job. Oh yeah, in the seat. This little stud right here. I never could get a, a nut started on it. It came with five nuts and washers, but it's got six studs. Two up here, two in the middle, oh, more closer up here, and two in the back. This one in the back was jacked up. Yeah, they, they need to pack that seat better, C cover them studs to where they don't get gummed up or, you know, marred or whatever. But other than that, this is a great bike. You'll see in the video, I enjoyed it quite immensely. <laughs> but yeah that's big old beefy look at them big old beefy forks yeah it's awesome i really really like this bike uh normally 13.99 which is 100 cheaper than their uh most popular folding e-bike and uh it comes with the disc brakes if you ask me a whole lot better headlight i love that headlight I think the bike looks way better than the folding e-bikes. Although I plan on getting one of them folding e-bikes just to give her a whirl, you know. But this here, I, I just for the looks alone, I had to have it. Thousand watt motor, just like their M7 folding e-bike. 22.5 amp hour battery. Uh, 180 millimeter front disc, but I'm not sure about the size of the back one. And uh, yeah. Nice uh, hydraulic disc brakes. Uh, like I say, uh, 180 front. I'm thinking the back's a 160. It looks slightly smaller to me. You let me know in the comments. But yeah, I think it's a it's a wonderful bike. I enjoyed it a lot, and there will be, of course, more videos on it. Uh, maybe I might give it a little better review. I'm trying to get better at this. <laughs> I'm a novice. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, there's some funny parts in the video if you ask me. Uh, <laughs> selfie stick malfunctions. But uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, hope you enjoy the video. Like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, share the crap out of it. Oh yeah, seven speed, huge front sprocket to help keep up with the motor. I love the style of these handle grips. And they lock down by Allen screws. Uh, full color display. I still got the protector on it. I may end up pulling that off. I just want to leave it on there for a little bit. It makes me feel like I'm actually preserving it. But yeah, everything went together easy other than the seat. And that's about it. Handlebars went on easy. I was going to keep the uh, time lapse out, but <laughs> uh, I find it funny myself because <laughs> seeing myself going real fast like that. <laughs> I'm going to throw it in there anyway. So the video is going to be quite a bit longer than normal because I usually uh, video is around 28 minutes. This one's probably going to be close to 40. <laughs> but uh, that's counting this where we're already at 433. And uh, yeah, the ride portion is 28 something. But yeah, and then the time lapse is three something. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. It's maybe around 35 minutes. But yeah, hope you enjoy. Uh, like the video, subscribe. And share the crap out of it.
All right, after a long fought battle with that seat, this is what we got. I left a protective cover on that. But yeah. Figure I'd give y'all a good look at it. Everything about this thing is beefy. It's got dual shocks in the back. Heck, my dad going scooter don't have dual shocks. But yeah, when you uh turn the bike on, that light comes on. Whether you hit the front or rear brake, that comes on. And here's your headlight. Boom. Horn. I borrowed this phone holder from my uh, big mini. We're going to put it on there to, you know, see how accurate the speed is. But yeah, it's it's a it's a slick bike. It's it's a little dusty. From inside that box, I had to straighten up this. This was a little you know, the handlebars part. This gooseneck was kind of cocked that way just a hair. Everything went together fairly easy. Not perfectly easy, but you know, very tolerable. I love that headlight. But uh. They got 180 millimeter disc brakes, front and rear. The back one actually looks like it might be a 160. You tell me, does the front one look bigger than the back one? They're definitely a different style. I just noticed that. Yeah, battery was completely loose inside the box. If you can see, it's got a little scuffage, light scuffage here and there. That's the worst part of it. But it does work. It takes a key to turn it on, and it locks it in place at the same time. And then you have the power button. It's got the full color screen. Like I say, it's supposed to it's supposed to uh, go up to 32 mile an hour in pedal assist mode, or PAS as they say. And it's a seven speed. I wished it was an eight speed. Their folding bike is an eight speed. It's got a big old front sprocket though. That's the I guess help you keep up with that motor. And, uh, matching the, uh, uh, black, red, white. But anyways, I wanna uh, get the phone set up on the holder and everything and then we'll take a ride. Alrighty, I almost forgot to film it. Uh, yeah, I do have my phone in here. Uh, yeah, this thing's uh, pretty neat. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> I don't know what this thing's doing, but, uh, yeah, the, this, this is the first electric I've had, so I really have nothing to compare it to, but I hope, uh, I can do this without screwing it up. There we go, we got that. There's Bixby that I don't need. Okay, there we go. Right, get off here. Let's, uh, there we go. It's weird the way this thing's doing. I don't know why it's doing it with none of the other information on there. But, we're in pedal assist mode one. It won't get you up to about like seven or so mile an hour. It's two, three. Yeah, you can you can really feel it pull once you each time you go up. Hopefully this ain't a, a jarring video. Yeah, it takes a, a second before it kicks in. Yeah, I see it's at least a couple mile an hour off. Hopefully you can see this. Well, it 
was kind of close there. Maybe it's fairly accurate. A second ago, I was looking at it, the bike's speedometer was saying 17. And, uh, yeah, you can feel it. <laughs> yeah, see, the higher it goes, it seems like the further it gets off. Yeah, it was saying 29. The uh, phone was saying 23. That's a quite a discrepancy it's pretty cool though <laughs> <coughs> yeah I'm a little out of shape here's full electric and uh <clears throat> I haven't like went through it and investigated it because I only wrote it for about three minutes before I got on here with the video but uh whoo uh that's uphill though it's not real steep but it's not no baby hill either woohoo yeah I need to get some uh, some mirrors. This will let us know how fast we can go. <clears throat> yeah, the bike's saying 30. And this is slightly downhill. My phone's saying 24. We're heading into a wind, though. Hopefully you can hear me. That's pretty good for a bicycle though. <laughs> I would like it to go faster though. This thing's beefy, man. It can handle it. It ain't like your uh, regular old bike you get at Walmart. <coughs> this is cool. This is freaking cool, man. I'm about to put my little gloves on though. My hands are getting a little bit chill. Yeah, it's about mid 40s right now I'm hoping y'all enjoy this bike I sure am I want after you know the video and everything I will tinker with it some more and uh, see if I can unlock some some more speed this bike hasn't been reviewed much at all though i seen one review on amazon i bought this one directly from polarna uh so uh yeah i couldn't tell you about amazon other than that review i read on there they loved it it's a beefy bike super beefy I mean, this is just pure electric. I'm not pedaling at all. And the brakes feel great. I had to adjust them in a little bit. To where, oh, I was thinking the park would be open. They're not, they close the park in the winter around here. They only open it because they set up a bunch of Christmas lights. And, uh, yeah, this should be opening up soon, though. Let me uh, put my hand on my, my gloves. Ding. I better <laughs> do it further away because uh, they're playing music and uh, YouTube likes to uh, blank that junk out. I'm hoping it didn't show up on the microphones on the <laughs> GoPro that well. But yeah, uh, I'm in, uh, I'm hoping you can see it. Pedal Assist 3. And this is only bring me about 13 and a half 
Yeah, the brakes work real good. Very good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the brakes. Let's uh, get my gloves on. They're not much, uh, you know, keeping you warm or whatnot, but uh, better than nothing. wrong hand but yeah i love this thing it's gonna take some getting used to it's a lot different than anything i've ever had i do like the handles the handle grips it's got that little part kind of like I, that piece i put on the mini bikes to keep my hands from going to sleep so yeah these these are definitely some nice grips and they lock on and they got allen screws this you know lock them in place i'm trying to uh See what I'm putting down here. Here we go. They say mid-drive motors are a lot more torquey. <clears throat> I'm thinking they're pretty much the same thing, but the difference is this one is a kind of like a direct drive to the back wheel, whereas a mid-drive motor uses your gears just like your pedals do so when you go into a lower gear it gives the uh mid drive more torque i'm hearing the brake go so it must not be perfectly you know straight let's go to five this is all the motor not not i'm not doing a thing and then, oh yeah, I meant to tell you, this is the uh, X01 by Polarna. I think I mentioned it earlier, but uh, I wasn't sure, so I figured I'd say it again. Uh, they're normally $13.99. They had them on sale for $13.49. And uh, there was a coupon code that they give you, SP2023. And it saves, saves you another $150 off the bike. So I got this bike for $11.99.99, shipped to the door. So yeah, that was, uh, yeah, this ain't gonna have like jerk you back torque, but uh, it's impressive, especially for a bicycle. And this is a heavy bike. I'm not sure the exact weight. Another reviewer on uh, YouTube said it was slightly lighter than the uh, the Polarna's folding e-bike there, top of the line, a M7, I think they call it. But yeah, here's what I want to see though. Yeah, my phone's in the way of them <laughs> buttons. Oh, I got it down though. I want to see how it does on this hill. Cause this is a beast of a hill. I'm impressed. I may be tired after I get up this hill, but this thing's pulling way better than I thought it would. Yeah, my legs are. Whoo. Eighteen up up this hill, seventeen. Woo! <coughs> Woo! Let's try pure electric. No, nah, it's not gonna. Woo! Yeah, electric by itself ain't that good, but <coughs> I don't know why it seems to push harder and pedal mode and it doesn't matter if you're uh, really pushing hard or not Whew. yeah I gave up before the bike did <clears throat> it's an impressive bike though yeah this bike's saying 33.6 course this is downhill
Well, we're getting 32, but I, I, I'm not even... I'm not even uh, pushing it. It was just me coasting. <laughs> That's how steep that hill is. I was doing 32, just coasting. Yeah, I don't know if it shows up on camera as good when, when we go up that hill. And yeah, I'm 5'10", and uh, this bike's a little high for me. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. I guess it lets the, the motor push harder when you're in pedal assist because it knows you're helping it which means even if it's pushing harder and you're helping it's uh gonna be easier for the motor itself i'm wore out <laughs> i'm out of shape i probably shouldn't even have tried that big hill <laughs> but yeah it's pretty slick there's a lot of gravel from them salt in the roads on these sidewalks Woo. I don't know if this has got the cruise control like uh <clears throat> like the M7 or not dang I must be at rush hour okay let's just uh It's all pedal, I mean, not motor, no pedaling. And this is uphill. Not real steep. You can see it, that up there, it gets a little steeper there. We'll try it. See how well it does just in motor. It's full electric. That's not bad, though. I'm wondering if there's a way to unlock some more speed, though. The 18 at the top, that's not bad. Hit her puppy dog. But yeah, this is a. I wanted to get the uh, selfie stick. In fact, I got it in the garage. The seat, mm, fairly comfortable. I'm feeling it a little bit though. Yeah, this seat was my least favorite part about putting this bike together. <laughs> now, he was all nice when I passed by him the first time, that little puppy dog. He's part pit bull too. I don't want him to get a hold of him. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, he was coming after me coming back the other way. Let's uh, get the, uh, the selfie stick and see if we can uh, get some shots of me riding it. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> another thing I noticed trying to turn it around in the garage, it doesn't have a tight turning radius. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit chill. Boop -a -doo -doo. Don't want nobody knowing my garage combination.
Anyway, we'll, uh, whew. yeah, I'm a little bit tarred. A little bit tarred. But yeah, let's uh, put you on a selfie stick. Maybe you get to see a little bit of the the bike uh, operating as we go down the road. There we go. We still rolling? Yeah. Dang, we've been on for 18 minutes since I started to ride. But yeah, I'm hoping you you'll be able to see what I'm trying to lay down. I might need to get a different bolt. Hopefully that stays tight. This is a, a cheap brand uh, selfie stick, so <laughs> bear with me. <sighs> we can get you out of here a little bit. The selfie stick itself seems uh, sturdy. It's just this, uh, the adjustment thingy on it, the angle and all that. Uh, you know. It uh, doesn't uh, seem to uh, do too well. I mean, yeah, like lock up completely. Yeah, this actually has uh, like if you're just pushing the bike. Let's say you don't made yourself tired and you're pushing the bike. You just hold down the. There's a plus and minus on here that I'm covering up with my phone hold that down while you're pushing the bike and it'll slowly ease the bike forward with you I thought that was pretty neat yeah I hope you don't get spun around while I'm riding down the road we'll put it in uh hold it let me uh do it like this because I got the throttle over here <laughs> and hopefully this ain't too uh, aggravating I just want you to Oh, that, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. I need to get a better, uh, a better, uh, selfie stick. <laughs> we'll try it again. Oh, no. I need a better stick. Yeah, this thing don't want to, I don't reckon it locks in place. <laughs> Hopefully you can see me. <laughs> We're in four right now. And this is left-handed. I don't know why the throttle's over here, but it is. Let's uh, try to... Uh, hopefully the pit doesn't come after me again. Get a nicer selfie stick, but you know me, I'm cheap. And uh, I didn't expect this to do that little spinny thing until I actually got it on there and tried it. But uh, yeah, I want to do some different angles and stuff to be able to show you. There's a lot of these other
with safety glasses. I don't know how long I've had them. At least 10, 12 years or longer. And they weren't new when I got them. <laughs> Somebody gave them to me. But yeah, this is, this is uh, quite fun. Now this is just me using front brake. Because uh, my other hand's busy. This is a new road, freshly paved, uh, resurfaced. Road. Sorry about that. I hope this ain't too aggravating. <laughs> but yeah this is a fun 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 bike <coughs> and they say it will perform better in the warmer climate <laughs> yeah so once, once it warms up i apologize for the uh, el cheapo selfie stick but yeah hope you enjoyed it i think it's a, a super cool bicycle yeah i'm assuming as long as it's on that light stays on because uh, this light you turn on and off. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I can't wait to see what that does in the dark. But, you know, like I say, 22 and a half amp hour battery. This is their biggest battery yet, as far as I know. And like I say, boop, boop, that's the back brake. Front brake. I'm not sure you saw it when I did the back brake. But yeah, uh, like I say, the headlights off and it's uh still on and i'm gonna turn the bike off uh, trying to let me hold it yeah yeah she's off but yeah i pedaled it once without the battery even on it and it's not real bad 
but you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to <laughs> go long distances like that but with the battery sure <clears throat> let me see if it shows uh how many miles we want it shouldn't be that far 7.3 that was a fun 7.3 <laughs> There we go. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. Uh, subscribe and share the crap out of it. <laughs>